Hey, just real quick before we start the video, uh, I am putting a sale on the Halloween sketchbooks that I have. This is a series of monster art and Halloween style art that I did. It's uh, 24 pages of pure art that I've posted nowhere. Um, it's really fun and right now it is on sale uh, on this channel only, okay? So the discount code when you type in is Halloween and that's going to give you 25% off. Uh, I only have about, I think I have about a few of these left, so uh, once these are gone, that's kind of it. So thank you so much. I appreciate all the support from everybody. Check it out. Hey, how's it going? So we're going to go over how to draw a pumpkin, really uh, yet another one. It's a really cool jack-o'-lantern. It's going to be simple, easy for beginners. Stay all the way to the very end of the lesson. It's only a seven-minute lesson, and nobody ever in general, in YouTube history in general, all of YouTube, nobody stays on videos on YouTube more than like, I don't know, two seconds or something, right? So stay all the way to the very end and you'll be one of the very few and you'll have a new skill by the end of it. So let's get started, okay? Before I do that, definitely hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification if you do enjoy the video and uh, enjoy the website and love learning about Halloween every year. Ready? Curve at the top. Okay, we're gonna pull down right here. I'm gonna pull out, it's gonna curve. Okay, we doing good on that so far? Let's go over here to the other side. I'm gonna throw a couple of lumps. See, that's the one lump, two, three. You can throw more if you want, it's not a huge deal. I'll throw one more, actually. And I'm gonna have the exact same shape on the other end, okay? Pulling down here, curve around the corner. Same thing over here, these lumps on the bottom. The lumps on the bottom obviously are gonna be the texture of the pumpkin. I'm gonna go to the top here, pulling, and I'm gonna pull like a almost like a question mark one. I want it to look kind of cool and different. So I'm gonna go like this, per, curve around. Go over here as well, make it bigger at the base here, and it's gonna curve down, and maybe it'll flare out a little bit at the end. Make it more stylish. You can even throw like right here to even it out a little bit of uh, extra stem. I'm gonna go over here now and I'm gonna throw lines on it, but thinner than I've drawn, okay? And they don't have to connect. See how I put a couple of gaps in that? But you're gonna follow it along like a road. Just follow it along. And that is gonna be the texture on that pumpkin stem. You know, I'm sure you've all carved pumpkins where it's like, this is really weird looking ones. This is one of those weird ones. Gonna go over here, draw that part of the eye. Down here, over here, let's go to the other eye. Right on. I'm gonna pull a line inward, like so. And I'm gonna draw a half circle here. And I'm gonna connect that line back there. All right. I'm gonna go do the same thing on this side, pull a line here, pull a half circle, and pull a line across. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill those shapes in. You can do this real easy in pencil. If you're using pencil, it's probably really easy to do this, to fill it in. Just kinda of fill it on the side of your pencil. If you have a marker, it's also relatively easy. It might be hard if you have like pen, I guess. It'll probably be pretty tough. But you can still do it. I'm gonna go over here. Another triangle. This one, I'm just gonna straight across on this one. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Slowly fill it in, just kind of right on. Now I'm gonna do is start over here, start over here, gonna mark out where I want my smile to go. See, like this. And I know I'm gonna curve in here, so I'm gonna curve downward. Before I do that, I'm gonna pull a line outward for the two, well, a tooth sticking out, down, up. Continue the flow of this line over here, of that smile. Pull down, out here, up. Go over here, pull up. 
over here on this end, curve down, up, cross, down. We're gonna do the bottom teeth now. All right, you're doing good. Good, good. Curve here. Continue that curve basically, a smile. Up, cross, down. And we're gonna continue that smile right up to that line over here. All right, easy peasy, right? Now we just fill this shape in. Let me know what you're gonna be for Halloween. I am gonna be Freddy Krueger this year. I was Freddy Krueger many years ago, but now I'm gonna have a proper Freddy Krueger outfit. Um, by that I mean like the shirt that Freddy Krueger wore as opposed to the, uh, I used to wear this other like rip off shirt. <laughs> it was just a striped shirt that kind of looked like it. Line over here, cross up. It's gonna fill in this in. Doesn't really matter how you fill it in, you can fill it in like this. You can just kind of blotch it in. Doesn't really matter with marker at least. Okay, so let's find the striations of the pumpkin so this thing doesn't look like a pear. I'm gonna pull thinner lines down and along the side here. Like I'm gonna follow the curve of this pumpkin. I'm gonna imagine, imagine it in 3D. If it's sitting right in front of me, what shape would it make, right? It's like if an ant was crawling on the surface, it would crawl like this, right? And that's a big part of all drawing. I'm not gonna run into the features, by the way, but I'm following that line and kind of disconnecting it at the certain times. A big part of drawing is thinking in 3D. That is such a big, big part of drawing. So just kind of remember that aspect of it, see? Right here. And I could throw like another one out here maybe, but they're all thinner because it is kind of the texture of it. Whew, thank you so much. I appreciate you being around. You are amazing. Uh, do me a huge favor and uh, uh, you know, share the video with a friend that you think might enjoy it. Uh, it is Halloween season, so it's pretty easy to share these right now. It's really fun to do. Um, but thank you so much. You guys have been amazing and I wanna thank you for everything that you've done. Um, and everybody keeps supporting me and I love it. So thank you. I will see you next time. And that's it. Stay spooky.